Good morning, folks. Always a lot of confusion and conflicting Voyager stories out there. Just head to their homepage that I've linked for you below. It has real-time distance and light travel time calculators in addition to the energetic particle signatures indicating their genesis either inside the system or from the galaxy so you can tell where they are. This article is about a heat wave in China, but I do indeed know from locals that the blue areas are breaking just as many records the other way over there. Latest drought look is updated along with our favorite metrics from drought.gov. The crop moisture chart belies the significance of the western dryness. The same buoy in event mode, but we now have two 13 meter drops and then return in sea level, happening way too slow to make a tsunami, but that's a lot of movement in two hour periods. That's very fast geologically. We have a different type of tropical threat here. This is Aaron slinging off the African coastline, largely expected to begin heading north. We also have development in the Gulf, and it's slated to drench the Florida Bend starting with the current shear. There are major storms rolling through southern Australia right now. Tough to pinpoint the worst areas, but the BOM has been calling it out for most of the south. Storms on the convergence line sticking to northern Europe here for another day. Where the pressure meets, you tend to see that interaction. West Coast still dealing with that low that crested yesterday. It's continuing to bring rain to the coast and most of Canada inland. Got pressure convergence in the south central states. You can expect storms there and along the convergence line nearing sundown. Took two gamma ray bursts last night, both from way south in the sky. One from Carina, the other from the Centaurus constellation. The GO shows solar flaring is still very quiet. The southern earth-facing disk is spotted though. The leading group turning away has lost complexity while it decays, while just behind to the north lies our only remaining delta spot, top flare contender. Also have a group turning in that is large at the trailing edge but growing out front as well. Solar wind is surprising me with its ramp over 700 km per second and sustained density. It caused a geomagnetic storm with magnetometers and energetic flux showing the disturbance. Primary magnetic connectivity jumps to the Earth-facing disk with eight subconnectivity points over on the right. With the umbral field closing up, we temporarily took the watch score down to five or six last night, with the Earth-facing holes keeping us above 50%. Now, as I previously stated, I did not expect this much energy in near-Earth space. Well, New Zealand took a 6.5 and multiple aftershocks nearing six range. The watch score continues today at just five to six, with a caveat that any more quaking here will result in a localized major watch for the upcoming ramp with the transequatorial corona hole just behind the closed umbral fields. Helio Viewer and I are both awaiting our updated images, so SDO will do for now. Eyes open. No fear, it's 6.35 a.m. Eastern Time and that's the news. Be safe everyone.